Okay, the table gives three lengths here um, in inches and in centimeters. So it's comparing, right? Um, inches to centimeters. So use the data in the table to draw a conversion graph between inches and centimeters. So it's telling us here look, 10 inches is 25 centimeters, 26 inches is 66 centimeters, and then they're also telling us 55 inches is. 127 centimeters. So we're going to plot these points on our graph like coordinates. So 10 inches is 25 centimeters. So across the 10 up, uh, inches up then to 25. So 25, well, 30 is there, isn't it? So 25 is going to be halfway between 20 and 30. 26 then, so inches is 66 centimeters. So across the 26 inches, uh, which is here up to 66 which um, will be here, okay, there's 66 there, and then 50 inches is 127 centimeters, so across to 50 inches up to 127, there's 120, 126, 127, which is here. Now, the three points, and these three points should line up. If they don't line up, then we've done it wrong, okay? And um, if they don't line up, you just need to go back and check to see which one you've gone wrong with. And these line up perfectly, okay? And you draw your conversion line, okay? The conversion line in this case goes through the origin, okay? doesn't always go through the origin. In this case, it will, if you think about it, common sense-wise, because inches and centimetres, well, if you've got zero inches, you've got nothing, haven't you? And that's going to be zero centimetres. Okay, so it will go through the origin. But conversion graphs, they don't have to go through here. Okay, it depends on the information we've got. Now, part B then, it says, use your graph to find an estimate for 300 centimetres in inches. Now, 300 centimetres, okay, on this scale doesn't exist. It only goes up to um, 140 centimetres. That's not a problem, okay? Don't get worried. Don't be thinking, oh, I need to add a bit more on here because you don't have the space, right? And you, you don't have the graph paper. But what we can do is find a, a different value, okay? Um, a value that is, is associated with 300. Take 100, for instance. Now, 100 fits into 300 quite nicely, doesn't it? If you think about it, we, if we triple 100, you get 300. So if we read off the graph to see what 100 is, okay? So you can draw a line across if you want to the conversion and look down. Okay, that there. 100 centimeters is 40 inches. Let's write that down. 100 centimeters is 40 inches. So, so if you read from the, from the conversion graph, okay, you just literally go across 100 until it hits the graph and then go down to see what that is in inches. Now, 100 centimeters is 40 inches, but remember, 100 is related to 300. We just need to triple it. We times by three. And if we times by three, you get 300 centimeters. All right. Um, but if you're tripling this measurement in centimetres, you also need to triple this measurement in inches. So 40 times 3, 40 times 3 is 120 inches. And there's our answer for 300 centimetres. We've scaled up to work out what 300 centimetres is in inches.